Sample problem 28.01. A uniform magnetic field B vector with magnitude 1.2 millitesla is directed vertically upward throughout the volume of the laboratory chamber. A proton with kinetic energy 5.3 mega electron volt enters the chamber moving horizontally from south to north. So what magnetic deflecting force acts on the proton as it enters the chamber? The proton mass is 1.67 multiplied 10 power minus 27 kilogram neglect the Earth's magnetic field. So in this question, we are going to find the value of the magnetic force. We are going to find the magnetic force. The magnetic deflecting force is nothing but the magnetic force. So that means we are going to find the answer for Fb. And what is given in the question? The magnetic field value is given, which is 1.2 milli tesla. So in terms of tesla, which is 1.2 multiply 10 power minus 3 tesla. And the proton's kinetic energy is given. So the kinetic energy of the proton value is 5.3 mega electron volt. The most important thing, we have to convert this mega electron volt in terms of joules. So for that, we have the conversion. So we have to use that conversion here. And the mass of the proton is a constant. So which is 1.67 multiply 10 power minus 27 kilogram. So these are all the information. And here, first of all, we have to write the formula for the magnetic force. So what is the formula? Because this question is related, tells you about the charge is entering the magnetic field. Am I right? That means the moving charge particle in the magnetic field. So what is the direction of the magnetic field? The magnetic field is directed upward direction. So you have to use your right hand rule. So let's we take this is the magnetic force. So dot stands for the magnetic field is coming out of the page and the electron is moving from south to north. So let's we take this is the south direction. This is the north direction. So that means the magnetic force, sorry, the magnetic field is vertically upward direction. That means the magnetic field is coming out of the page, but the charge is moving from south to north. That means if you see the angle between the magnetic field as well as the speed because the charge is moving from south to north. That means the charge having speed. So the speed is exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. So that means here theta is 90. So first of all, let's me write the rule. What is the rule? Fb, which is equal to qvb sine theta. This is the rule, right? The most important thing, now we clearly know the angle between the magnetic field as well as the velocity, the speed of the charge, when the charge having the speed from south to north, by that the magnetic field is coming out of the page. So exactly here the angle theta which is equal to 90 degree. So by that the sine 90 becomes 1. We are just going to use this. And the most important thing, B value we already have. And charge is the magnitude of the charge takes the value. So what is the magnitude of the charge? The magnitude of the charge here is 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19 coulomb. So that means we have the charge value. We have the magnetic field and also we have the theta. So the only things we don't have in this question is the speed. So what we have to do, first of all, we have to find the speed. So as we know, the kinetic energy formula, the kinetic energy formula, which is equal to half m v squared, right? Half m v squared. Here m stands for mass of the proton. So the most important thing, if you want to find the answer for the kinetic energy, first of all, we have to convert this mega electron volt in terms of volt. So one mega electron volt, one mega electron volt, which is equal to 1.602 multiply 10 power minus 13 joules. So here we have 5.3. So kinetic energy 
value 5.3 mega electron volt so one mega electron volt one mega electron volt which is equal to 1.602 multiply 10 power minus 13 so mega electron volt get cancel each other and finally we will get the answer of the kinetic energy in terms of joules so now i am going to multiply this 5.3 with 1.602 here i got the answer as 8.4 8.4906 joules. So that means we convert this 5.3 mega electron volt in terms of joules. So now I have to use this and this value in this equation. So first of all, I'm going to find the value of the speed by using the kinetic energy formula. So what is the formula? So we have to use this formula. So kinetic energy formula. So kinetic energy formula, which is equal to half mass of the proton multiplied by the speed square. And I have to rearrange this equation in terms of the speed because then only we can find the magnetic force. So mag V square, which is equal to two multiplied by kinetic energy divided by the mass of the proton. Therefore, speed, which is equal to square root of two times of kinetic energy divided by the mass of the proton now i am going to substitute the value here for calculating the speed so square root of 2 multiplied with 8.4906 right multiply because i forgot to write the power here just 10 to the power of minus 13. So 10 power minus 13 divided with the mass of the proton 1.67 multiplied 10 power minus 27. So what's the answer? 2 multiply 8.40, sorry, 8.49. 0, 06 10 power minus 13 divided 1.67 10 power minus 27 so i got the answer here as 31.89 multiply 10 power 6 meter per second so this is the speed so now we can easily find the answer for the magnetic force. Actually here, I forgot to write the power because when you multiply 5.3 with 1.602 multiplied 10 to the power of minus 13, you will get this answer. So 8.49 multiply uh, 10 power minus 13 joules. So I forgot initially, but now uh, we substitute this value here. And later on we observe, we miss the 10 to the power of minus 13, clear? Okay, now I have to find the value of the magnetic force. So magnetic force which is equal to the magnitude of the charge multiply with the speed multiply with B sine theta as theta is exactly 90 degree. So sine 90 becomes one. Now I am going to substitute the value 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19 and multiply by the speed. I have to use this value 31.89 multiply 10 power 6 multiply with a magnetic field so in the question they mentioned the magnetic field is 1.2 milliliters per right so 1.2 multiply 10 power minus 3 and psi 90 becomes 1 so now i'm going to multiply all these value so 1.6 10 power minus 19 multiply with 31.89 10 power 6 multiply with 1.2 10 power minus 3 i got the answer here as 6.12 multiply 10 power minus 15 and the unit for the force is newton so this is the answer for this question so the magnetic force value is 6.12 multiply 
10 power minus 15 newton that's it thank you